since we're talking about Golden State, it always comes back to Durant and where Durant's going to head. So Rich Kleinman, friend of Peter's. Dear friend. Fop. Um, he is Kevin Durant's, not just agent, he's his friend and business manager, right? Yeah, and business partners. Right. They're partners in a lot of ventures together, too. They do the boardroom together on ESPN+. Plus. They have investments together. He's been along with him the entire ride. His full-time job is being KD's uh, manager. All right, so here is Rich Kleiman uh, speaking on Wall Street, I guess he was yesterday. Well, this was the Wall Street Journal. Oh, okay. There Wall Street Journal. I guess they have a it's video a, portion. It's a newspaper. I understand it's a newspaper. It's not just the street. Do well, I don't want anything. It's just the street. Why do I have, well, I do I have an, They were having a conference, a Wall Street conference. <laughs> okay. Here's Rich Kleiman about his guy. This has not been decided. There's no hidden no. handshake agreement. No. With the New York Knicks? No. No, nothing like that? No. Okay. All right. Okay. That is 100% uh, undecided, and um, and I'm waiting on Kevin. You know, that's that's the truth. I think there's a feeling that this thing is like war games, and everybody's kind of like playing uh, a role. Yeah, playing chess like years out. But when somebody gets to the level of basketball that he's at, yeah, you can't juggle focus like that. There's so many things he's juggling too. He's not scripting his future while he's playing the way he plays and practices the way he practices and it's I think it's frustrating honestly at times but I get it I do get it I get that like even as a kid the kind of soap opera of it all was just beginning and I liked it now I think in some ways it's like more soap opera at times than basketball but um, he really doesn't know and I really don't know now a couple things first of all what a voice on Rich Klein you enjoy it oh my goodness he should be doing late night music shows I mean just beautiful voice you mean, Beautiful. Like, you mean like like talking up records, or just like even being like a love doctor or something like that? He's a tremendous voice. Wow. Uh, do I believe that Durant has not made up his mind? I, I believe he's not a hundred percent. I think he's leaning. I don't think it would behoove Rich Kleiman to say, yeah, he's leaning toward the Knicks because that would be you know the, the the question: Have you had any phone calls or handshake agreements? Yeah, let's just blow everything of the collective bargaining agreement out the window. Yeah. And let's get people arrested. We're, no. do, we're doing lots of illegal backhanded stuff, right? Well, yeah. I believe that Durant, in his mind, let's just say he's leaning towards the Knicks, but that could change. He's shown it could change. I was listening to Stephen A. driving in. Stephen A. said, when the season's over, he's going to go away for a couple of weeks. He's not going to have a big um, tour where he's having a press conference every day. He's just going to come back and go, this is the team I'm going to. So I think that in their mind, they probably have war game. That, that I would disagree with them on that. They have war game that if you go here, this is what happens. Who, who comes with you? I think he's leaning toward the Knicks, but I think that could change in an instant. I, I agree with you. I don't know how much you can take from what Rich is saying. I mean, he's just in a position where, as you just alluded to, what can Rich possibly say right now? A, that wouldn't come off as a, first of all, Rich is a great manager. He's not, he's not a yo-yo. This is not Chris Stapp's brother, okay? Rich Kleiman's the real deal. He's not going to say something that could in any way, look how, he well, basically said nothing, and look how much news there was about it. He's not going to say something that could become a distraction he, for the Warriors right now. He had to say what he said. Yeah, it was his only choice. There was no other choice, because if he says he's leaning a certain way, he's pretty much made his decision, but he's not 100% yet, that just confirms all the reports that he's 95% going to the Knicks. So he might as well just say he's going to the Knicks. Kevin Durant's still on a team that's going to play for the NBA championship in a week. And right? hopefully he's playing. So the idea that he's going to start forwarding information that he's already made his decision, he, he had no other choice but to say, this is not news. Because anything he says, oh, he, I'm not going to tell you what team, but he's definitely leaning towards one team. That confirms it's the Knicks or just gets people to ask a million more questions. No matter what, it's Can't a distraction. It. it becomes a huge... Right. And then... He, he, then look, KD's got to answer. Exactly. Oh, what, who's the team you're leaning toward? That's the first thing they would be Every asked. day. He, it wouldn't even be about and him coming back. And everybody who covers right. basketball is going to be around the finals. So he answered weeks, exactly so. the way. Even if Durant has... 100% committed to going to the Knicks. That's Papers the answer that he's going to give. Yeah, totally. It could be. He could have the apartment already picked out. It could right. all be Not done. Doing it. He can't say a word. Do you believe he's, in his mind, got something where he wants to go? I, I agree with you that he does. I just don't know that I agree with you that it's leaning towards the Knicks. I, 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 I know no, no, I don't know where it's. I'm saying let's say oh, you were saying let's say, the but a lot uh, of people feel that way. One thing that he has decided, I believe, if he's going back to K, uh, Golden State. That, that I agree. I believe he's decided that. Yes. And maybe he is, and maybe he's going but, back and it's all about nothing. But I think he probably has decided, well, I'm not going back here. Now he has to choose what's the best place for Michael, you've covered athletes, I've covered athletes. 
you'd be surprised, like, how many football players have no idea who they're playing two weeks from now, right? Most of these athletes, everything's planned out for them. They don't think. And what's the answer you always give when you ask them, how would you not know that? Because I'm focused at the task at hand. All I think about is the next opponent. All I think about is what's going on right now. So Kevin Durant right now is thinking about getting healthy. Then he's going to be thinking about either Toronto or Milwaukee and winning a championship. Is it possible that he, he, he doesn't plan on really giving it any serious thought until the offseason. He knows he's a free agent. He probably knows he's not going back to Golden State. Friends could probably say, I think he's leaning towards the Knicks because he loves New York or whatever. But is it possible that he will not actually focus on that until the season is over? I think that's For sure. completely believable. Yeah, the love, and and um, there's another question. I don't know if you have the audio of it, but he, he went on to say after that, that when they were asking about more about this, he was trying to explain the level of focus that someone at Kevin Durant's level has is not one in which he's sitting around when he gets home from practice going, oh, I don't know what I should do. It is completely committed to what the task at hand is. I don't, I don't buy that. Uh, I, I mean, he's, he's right tweeting, now? He's tweeting at Chris Broussard. That, that may be so, but I'm saying you think the real... So, I mean, it's not 24 hours of locked in on Yeah, but that's mindless is. stuff. That's not, like, actually thinking about... Where do I want to live? Well, then that Where jumps into your face because you you're, you have a t there's a TV on and you hear a guy going, "This is his biggest nightmare, not playing," and that could set you off, as you've alluded to. It might for you too. Mm -hmm. Really, you think it's my biggest nightmare that I'm watching my team win games? That's a nightmare for me. Because think about the light that paints KD in. How selfish it is that his biggest nightmare is for the team to succeed without him. That is not Kevin Durant's biggest nightmare. His, I, I think. Now, I do think you'd be very upset to not have the opportunity to play in the finals. Because the fact of the matter is, these things, it may seem like right now, because it's been this way, that Golden State just goes to the finals every year. It's going to end at some point. You can't miss an opportunity to play in the finals. Well, I just think It'll it be takes, incredibly disappointing. It takes a lot of your thought. And tweeting somebody or having a, a thought away from the game or your injury for a fleeting moment is one thing. To make a life-changing decision on where you're going to spend the next four years... That probably will take the offseason. So I'm sure he's leaning somewhere, but he's probably not thinking anything about it. Well, you hear these athletes say it all the time. Michael, you always talk to um, the, the great athletes. Do you ever have that moment where you walk by the mirror and go, wow, look at me? You know? right. No, they all, they all say, no, I'll think about this stuff when my I career think, is over. I think they're lying, though. I think a lot of them go no, by the mirror. No, I think it takes Peter a lot. Peter goes by the mirror and winks. Because we, what we do, because what we do for a living does not take 24/7 thought the way it does preparing to go win an NBA title. My job. Come back from a calf injury. I know some people who even fight with people on Twitter while they're actually doing their broadcasting job. Interesting. Yeah, I've heard of that before. Um, so our good buddy, incarcerated Bob, just texted me this: the current odds from Vegas that Kevin Durant will suit up for who Kevin Durant will suit up for in game one of the 1920 NBA season. Knicks minus 125. Warriors plus 175. Really? Clippers plus 500. Nets plus 600. Lakers plus 650. Mavericks plus 2200. And then Bob also goes on to say Vegas has gotten these odds right with LeBron back to Cleveland and also to the Lakers last season. Isn't it crazy that the Knicks are better odds than him staying in Golden State? To me, that's wild. I would think staying in Golden State's still the highest possibility. No, I don't. I don't well, but why? I just don't understand. What, what is the real, if you're him, what's the real incentive to leave? See? For the next that stage took a long of, time. No, no, for the next stage of your career. To do what? He'll never get enough credit for Golden State winning titles. Credit credit. Because he's already, they won a title without him and won 73 games without him. Is, I, have a, I, have a I think the next thing is to burnish his legacy. legacy. What about his legacy? I think. If you guys are going to make fun of every time his problems work, not I'm going to jump on you guys, too. Read the room. Today's not the you day. You did it five minutes ago. Yeah, but I, had, I knew I had one step, and I, I knew where I, I was at the line. I deserve more credit. I deserve <laughs> more credit. You know, you know what he's right. So, he did say credit. Good. You know what? Why don't you guys just do the show? You know, but right, sit back. I have a question. What? What is? Is credit or credit worth? Yeah, you, you ask for credit. I'll show you a, a beautiful golden ring that screws apart. It has a part you can take off. You can reverse it. It's called a championship ring. He already has two of them. And if he stays in Golden State, realistically, if you were to sign a what? Uh, a four-year deal to stay in Golden State? There's a good chance he walks with two or three more rings. Do you really care? Yeah, like two or three more rings with Golden State is not worth yeah, one ring with the Knicks. I